Hello everyone! The four-month wait is finally over. Off-roading Epic has had a massive update. I would say it's the biggest one ever. This update has 22 new cars for new trailers, map changes, and a part two of farming, plus hints towards new updates and lore. We have a lot to cover, so without further ado, let's go. Let's start with the new farming. You can now grow and harvest crops. To start we use the new 15 disc harrow. We start by lowering it. Then you drag it across the field. It will make a nice dirt path. Next it's time to use the new 1970s cedar. It has the option to choose seeds, but right now there is only wheat hinting at other crops in the future. First you lower the markers. Now turn it on and plant your crop. Now the longest part of farming is waiting for the crop to grow. It takes around five minutes for the crops to fully grow. When your wheat looks like this, it is ready to harvest. Which means it's time for our next new toy, Combine Harvesters. Begin by turning it on and driving over the ready crop. Be warned not all wheat grows at the same pace so some of it might not be ready at the same time. Basically, all you have to do now is collect it all. Now for the last stage, it's time to sell our crop. We are going to use this new hopper truck, but there are also trailer variants. Extend the boom of the harvester out over the truck. It will automatically start unloading the wheat into the hopper. Now let's take the grain over to sell it. This building in the farming sector of Long Creek is now used to sell grain. Once you drive over the platform, it will instantly unload and pay you for your crop. And that's about it for farming. Now let's look at the new vehicle. There are two new vintage tractors. A open top variant and a closed variant. Both are extremely detailed in modeling as usual. While the same tractors, there are multiple differences between the two. The open top has two lanterns mounted on the sides of the grill, but the closed has one large lantern on top. Other differences are exhaust pipes between the two. There are two new race buggies. The blue one is longer with a massive engine, while the yellow one is compact and has a spoiler on the back. Both cars are extremely fast and show off the new suspension physics in the game. You can once again see Epic 7's crazy skilled modeling with the open engine on the blue buggy. Now we can see the long-awaited sedans. We have known about these vehicles for a while from the sneak peek. But here they finally are. There is the civilian variant with white wall tires, and the police with a heavy bumper, LCPD livery, and siren. 
Both cars are nice new generic vehicles. You can see driving through Long Creek. Next are new pickup trucks. The red one is a new chassis, but the yellow is based off of the sedan. Both trucks are nice quality models, but not much is unique about them. It is nice to see more normal vehicles to use. Both pickups also get long body variants. The yellow one is stretched out into a flatbed, which can carry hay bales, but the red one is a mega cab with a normal truck frame. Both are really cool to haul trailers with. The red truck gets one more variant. This time it's a sick lifted one. This one is absolutely epic for off-roading. Ah, ah, he said it! He said it! The other vehicle is a vintage style race car. It's pretty fast and maneuverable. There are two new swamp buggies. One small orange one with six wheels and a giant one with eight. The orange has a cage around it, but the green is open. The green buggy also has unique rear and front steering. The new combines are the most useful vehicles of the update. You already have seen and know how the 1970s themed John Deere works, but here is the much older style harvester, which in my opinion is better. It has many little details, such as the pulleys, that run all over it, which perfectly capture vintage farm equipment. There are two new cab over trucks too. There is a semi-variant and a hopper variant, which you saw earlier. There are also two new vans. They are British-style delivery vans. The small one is a cutie little guy, but the other one is quite scary. It's the first monster truck to be added to off-roading Epic. It also has unique steering. And finally, a vehicle inspired by my suggestion. The Future Liner, Cough, Bus. They are massive buses inspired by the 1950s Future Liner. That I've been fighting for four ages. While this is not exactly what I had in mind. I'm so grateful Stinchcomb took my suggestion into consideration. Anyways, the red one is 8x8 closed top, while the blue is a 6x6 open top with umbrellas. These vehicles are also unique because they are the first vehicles to be available in a pack. This means you can buy both buses in one pack. I will consider this my Christmas gift from the off-roading Epic team. Last but not least, let's look at the map extension. The large mountain is now much taller. First off at the bottom in the small town is an abandoned building. You cannot access it sadly. To see the rest of the mountain, we have to drive out past the town and into this janky trail. Be careful because it is easy to fall off. Next, we need to go through these roadblocks. You need a powerful truck to get up this next part. Once we climb up, we see. After we leave from there, we cross this bridge. And we come to this beautiful outlook, where we can see all of Long Creek. Anyways, that's where I am going to end this video. If you want to see more OFF Roading epic content, make sure to sub. Otherwise, goodbye.